Welcome back to Children's Worship. I am Ruth Ann Luckenbaugh. I'm the Children's Ministry Coordinator. And I'm Kara Steubing, the Director of Family Ministries. And today we welcome you back to, um, to our time of Children's Worship. We're so glad that we can gather with you this way. Um, even though we can't be together in person, we can at least gather this way. And again, we, uh, as we always do, we have um, our candles lit because Jesus is the light of the world. We have our cloth on. We are still in that time of growth and a common time. And so, but we are still growing and so it's green. And, um, and we do have our offering plates because when we would gather normally, we would uh, be collecting offering and have used it to purchase things, um, animals specifically for, um, for Heifer Project. Uh, to help people all over the world, people that we may never meet, but get to be helped by the things that you have done. Um, as Even as children, you have helped by your offerings. And so today, um, Ms. Kara has our, um, our message, and it's about um, being stuffed with, with kindness. kindness. <laughs> Very nice. So this morning we're going to be talking about being stuffed with kindness. We've been doing a lot of things over the past several weeks uh, to be kind to other people. You guys have been working on your compassion chart um, and sending that in when you have completed uh, 10 things uh, so that we can reward you. Uh, so thank you for participating in that. Uh, today we're going to give you another thing that you can do uh, to show kindness with those around you. Um, and I want to start us off with some scripture. And this scripture um, comes from Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. Um, you might know it as the golden rule. Um, it says, In everything do to others as you would have them do for you. For this is the law and the prophets. Um, and I really like this, and I think it is uh, something that we can think about all the time as we interact with other people. Um, and so this might not be something you would do for yourself, right? But um, but if someone did this for you, you would be very, very happy. So we're going to be making some kindness bags. Um, you will find some printables on your on the website um, that you can print off. Um, these have some tags. This just says, thank you for being my friend. God is good. Jesus loves you. And this one's pretty important, the to and from tag. Um, and uh, this just has some, some nice little sayings on it uh, that are already pre-printed, so you don't have to write them out. You can just print them and cut them. Um, of course, if you would like to put your own special messages to whomever you are making your kindness bag for, uh, that would be pretty cool too. Um, so the first thing you need to think about is who you want to make your kindness bag for. So maybe a friend that you haven't seen in a while that uh, mom or dad could help you drop this kindness bag off to. Uh, maybe a friend that you have seen that's been working really hard on things um, that you would like to acknowledge that. So um, I think I'm gonna make mine for my friend Ruthann and I could have her come back at the end of this and see how she likes it. Um, so what you need to make this is you need a paper bag um, and some other craft supplies. So um, paper punch, uh, scissors, tape, glue, crayons, um, and I've already prepped this bag. I folded the top down and then I punched holes in it because I'm going to use some pipe cleaners, some Chanel sticks to make little um, loops on here so that it looks like a gift bag, but that's gonna be the very last thing that I do. All right, um, so I am going to first of all start off by decorating my bag. Um, I like to use stickers because they are quick and they tend to really make things pop as I'm looking for this and these are sparkly stickers so I think they are super fun um, so I will be a little bit rushed in trying to share this all with you guys but you can take as much time as you want on decorating your bag um, so I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna draw some hearts on here. I like drawing hearts because it's um, something that's easy to draw and they always can, seem to turn out kind of nice. Um, I'll also draw some flowers. Flowers are another thing that I find to be easy to draw. Maybe you guys are really phenomenal artists and there's something special you like to draw. Um, Drawing on this bag would be such an extra, that would give us such an extra special um, thing. Uh, it, if, so 
the person knows that maybe you like to draw Star Wars or Pokemon characters. Um, I've seen some really great uh, drawings from you guys in the past. Um, so I would encourage you to use your gifts to decorate this bag. All right, so my bag's not totally decorated, uh, but to save some time, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on. So we talked about being stuffed with kindness. So one of the things we're gonna do is stuff this bag a little bit, give it some fullness. Um, I had these tissue paper squares that I thought would work really well. You can use um, crumpled up paper if you prefer. You can use just big long sheets of tissue paper. Um, you could even do some shredded paper if you wanted, if you thought that was going to make it extra fun. But I just kind of stuffed my bag so that it's, uh, it's kind of full there. Um, and then this is the fun part. You can write a note to your friend or you can pick one of the cards, I've cut these out already, uh, that I think that you think would make your friend very happy. So this one says, wishing a burst of sunshine and happiness for you today. And I bet that would make anyone happy and I know Miss Ruthann would love that. Um, this one says, thank you for making my day a little brighter. Um, Miss Ruthann always makes my day brighter. I hope she makes your days brighter with the stories that she reads too. So I'm gonna put that in my bag. Um, and this one says, be kind to yourself, you deserve it. I think that's such a nice message that everyone uh, would have. So I picked those three. Um, oh wait, there's one more. Um, this one says, never forget how beautiful you are. I think that's another one that, um, that is very special that, that everyone would love to see. Um, so there's some other things on here. This one says, you are just right. This one says, you look especially lovely today. Your smile is contagious. All these things could be true for, uh, for Miss Ruth Ann, but I feel like the ones I put in there are especially true for her. Um, so I am also going to, um, these are some other tags you can either tuck in the bag or you can take your craft supplies and attach them to the outside of the bag. So that one says, thank you for being my friend. Either tape or glue that on there. decoration on the front a little bit. Um, this one says God is good and this one says Jesus loves you. So I think those are all messages that my friend Ruthann would appreciate and love to be reminded of. Um, and then like I said we're going to turn this into a gift bag. If you have a gift bag at home that you would like to use to do this project you can certainly do that. Um, but if you don't have a gift bag this is kind of a fun way to make one. I'm just going to take my pipe cleaners and I'm going to put them into the holes that I punched. And the reason I'm doing this one last is because I want to put my tag on there. So I'm going to write two Ruthie. All right, um, and if you've got time or want to decorate, you could decorate the top of that tag too. Put this in here. All right, so my bag is done. Um, so I am gonna invite Miss Ruthann back to, to receive her bag in just a second, but I know this was a super rushed job and I think it looks pretty good. So I know if you guys take your time, uh, you can make a bag that your friend would really appreciate. Um, and especially now, maybe if you haven't been able to see them in a while, um, it would be fun for them to receive that, to know that you're thinking about them. Um, if you have a friend that's further away, you could probably just uh, tuck your bag up put it in an envelope and mail it, um, or maybe make a kindness envelope instead of a bag uh, if you've got to send it off further. Um, but I'm certain that you and your parents can think of some, uh, some people in your lives 
who would love to receive a kindness bag and who would be really meaningful right now. So we're gonna bring Mr. Than back. So Mr. Than, I have been busy making a little craft for you. Yay! So this is my kindness bag and I wanted to give it to you because you have been such an awesome friend. Oh, thank you so much. I love this. I've never seen somebody made their own gift bag. That's really smart. And it's actually using things around your house. You don't have to go to the store, which right now we don't wanna to go to the store anymore. We don't have to. So this is smart. Plus, oh, color. I love it. Oh, there's little notes. Yay, I love notes. This one says, be kind to yourself. You deserve it. Oh, and thank you for making my day a little brighter. Oh, this one is my favorite. Wishing a burst of sunshine and happiness for you today. Today's kind of a cloudy day, so that's a really nice <laughs> message. So, oh, wait, wait, here's another one. <gasps> God is good. I like that one a lot. Thank you, Miss Kara. Thank you You for are so that. welcome. So I have encouraged our friends to make kindness bags for their friends. Um, and they may not get to see it, like I just got to see you open it, but I'm sure that there will be lots of smiles and excitement. Um, and I always love giving a gift when it's unexpected. Um, and I know your friends do too. Um, so enjoy this uh, activity, spread some kindness. Uh, let's close in prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for our friends. Uh, thank you so much for the people around us who encourage us and help us. Um, God, we just, uh, Thank you that we can help spread some kindness in the world. And we pray that you would uh, bless and watch over us, help us to, um, to be able to spread kindness to all areas of our world, and uh, bless our friend that we are going to make our kindness bag for. In your name we pray. Amen.